Welcome, friends, to Boiler Room Detective Channel, where I share my knowledge and experience troubleshooting boiler issues. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you find these videos helpful. Today, I'm discussing how an intermittent flame failure avoided a catastrophe. Sometimes you have a guardian angel watching over you. This was the case in this school. The owner said they had intermittent flame failures on the 10-year-old boiler. Troubleshooting an intermittent flame failure is challenging and sometimes frustrating. In this case, it was life-saving. When diagnosing an intermittent problem, I like pretending it's a new startup and check everything on the burner and boiler. To test the flame safeguard control, I closed the manual gas valves for both the pilot and the main gas supply to the boiler. Simulating a call for heat, the blower started right away. This is the pre-purge stage. The blower runs for 90 seconds. The pre-purge is used to blow any leftover or accumulated gas inside the boiler and flue and up the chimney. The code requires four air changes inside the boiler during the pre-purge. At the end of the pre-purge, the burner goes to the low fire position and starts the pilot. To start the pilot, the ignition electrode is energized and sparks. The pilot solenoid valve opens and the spark ignites the pilot flame. The flame safeguard will verify a pilot flame and, once verified, will send voltage to the safety shutoff valves opening them. This burner didn't do that. At the end of the pre-purge, I heard the pilot solenoid valve click open. A few seconds later, the safety shutoff valves open. I looked at the multimeter attached to the flame safeguard and saw no flame reading. My heart started beating rapidly as I shut off the burner. If the gas valves opened without a pilot flame, it would have filled the whole boiler with gas. Boom! I cycled the burner and the flame safeguard worked properly this time. After the pilot cycle, it went into flame failure because it didn't sense the pilot flame. Was I imagining what happened? I cycled it twice more, and on the last attempt, it repeated the problem. The gas valve opened without a pilot flame. The maintenance tech walked inside the boiler room and asked, How's it going? I explained what happened and told him the flame safeguard should be replaced. We just did that, he said. He explained that he had this spare flame safeguard on the shelf since the boiler was new and installed it yesterday. In the trash can was the box for the old flame safeguard. It looked like it had been in a flood. The cardboard was warped and broken. What happened to the box, I asked. He explained that a pipe burst a few years ago and water sprayed on the flame safeguard box. It's shorted, I explained and the maintenance tech asked how it could be shorted because it was new. I swapped the flame safeguard with the old one and cycled it 15 times. It never failed, and the intermittent flame failure stopped as well. If a flame safeguard is exposed to water, it is ruined and should never be used. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites, brewingwithsteam.com, is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is fireiceheat.com. It's my company's website. It shows some of our capabilities. I've authored 12 boiler books, and they're available on Amazon.com. My technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.